Look at the meaning of this prayer a moment. Its root is found in the fact that as delicious odors may lie latent in a spice tree, so graces may lie unexercised and undeveloped in a Christian's heart. There is many a plant of profession, but from the ground there breathes forth no fragrance of holy affection or of godly deeds. The same winds blow on the thistle bush and on the spice tree, but it, only, but it is only one of them which gives out rich odors. Sometimes God sends severe blasts of trial upon his children to develop their graces. Just as torches burn most brightly when swung to and fro, just as the juniper plant smells sweetest when flung into the flames, so the richest qualities of a Christian often come out under the north wind of suffering and adversity. Bruised hearts often emit the fragrance that God loveth to smell. I had a tiny box, a precious box, of human love, my spikenard of great price. I kept it close within my heart of hearts, and scarce would lift the lid lest it should waste its perfume on the air. One day a strange, deep sorrow came with crushing weight and fell upon my costly treasure, sweet and rare, and broke the box to atoms. All my heart rose in dismay and sorrow at this waste. But as I mourned, behold a miracle of grace divine. My human love was changed to heaven's own and poured in healing streams on other broken hearts. While soft and clear, a voice above me whispered, Child of mine, with comfort wherewith thou art comforted, from this time forth go comfort others, and thou shalt know blessed fellowship with me, whose broken heart of love hath healed the world. It would just be nice, I guess, if the Christian life was just one of of ease and no trial but it isn't we know that um, and yet we are tempted to desire that uh, in times of trial especially and yet we have to trust that God is using all things, including trials, to, to make us better, to make us smell better to God and to others, that he develops within us a graciousness, a humility, a compassion, a love for others and an ability to comfort others because of the comforts that we've received from Him. So, if you're facing a trial right now, be encouraged that God will use it to help you grow, to make you more like your Savior, Jesus Christ, so that God can use you more effectively in the lives of others who, do, who so desperately need faithful men and women of God that he can use to bless and to help. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you that we can trust that you are at work in our lives. And in the midst of the trials and the, and the, and the troubles that we have, you are at work molding us and shaping us and, and creating a more beautiful fragrance within our souls um, within our being that you can use to bless others with we just uh, pray these things in Jesus's
precious and beautiful and wonderful name. Amen. Thank you for being with me. God bless you.